Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. I always like it when the media takes another swipe at gun owners and the gun industry, and that happened again this week. Joining me to talk about that and several other things, Joe Bartosi is the president and the CEO of the National Shooting Sports Foundation. It is the trade industry for the firearms industry, the trade association. Joe, welcome. Hey, Tom. How are you? Thanks for having me. You bet. Okay. I got to tell you, I, I saw the story in The Guardian, which is a British newspaper, And they have suddenly, and the anti-gun media has suddenly discovered the National Shooting Sports Foundation, and now NSSF is the new boogeyman, right? Yeah, everyone needs a boogeyman, I guess. Uh, And yeah, (laughs) they turned their sights on us, uh, I guess, now. Well, you know, you got to have a boogeyman if you're going to raise money with fundraising, and also if you're just going to get people inflamed and who you're going to be afraid of, and I guess you know the reality is, with the slow demise of the NRA in that world, they're looking at that and going, well, gee, we can't use the NRA as the big boogeyman. And they're looking around and say, oh, wait, here's an organization that's been working for gun rights and gun owners. Oh, and it also supports industry. And, of course, we know that commerce is bad anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> you got yeah. you got all three things going for you. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of a kind of a funny almost a backhanded compliment by this, uh, by this piece, this Guardian piece, where they say that the NSSF zealously and single-mindedly helps to preserve the industry. Well, yeah, that's what we do. We're a trade association. <laughs> and, you know, and I want to tell you something, Tom. You know, I, know, I know your audience is, is sophisticated in this regard. They know what's going on here. But, you know, I look at this, and on the one hand, I'm like, well, you know, it's kind of a hit piece. On the other hand, we want to get this framed because I'm going to tell you something. The firearm industry in this country generates over $80 billion, that's billion with a B, in economic activity for this country and supports about 350,000 American jobs. So if, if we are going to single-mindedly uh, and, um, and zealously preserve anything, that's worth preserving because those jobs are important to me. I'm never going to apologize for trying to be zealous about protecting those jobs and that economic interest in this country, not to mention the Second Amendment application. Uh, so, um, yeah, they can say what they want, but we are not slowing down. Well, you know, and the other thing, Joe, you and I know this because we've been working on this for a long time, and you've been in the gun industry for a long, long time at Mossberg for many, many years before you came to the NSSF. NSSF is is now and always has been at the forefront of gun, true gun safety education, not the phony gun safety that the gun banners claim to be, but actually teaching people how to be safe with their guns. This is nothing new for NSSF. Absolutely. I mean, the fact that they never mention any of our real, we call them real solutions for safer communities programs. I mean, Project Child Safe in 2024 is going to celebrate its 25th anniversary. And in that time, we have donated more than 40 million free safety kits, including gun locks, in all 50 U.S. states and five U.S. territories, plus not to mention the, the traffic that goes to our website with safety videos and training and how to hunt safe and how to store your firearms securely when they're not being used. That's going to be 25 years of real, genuine firearm safety education. Uh, so there's, there's that, that, you know, don't lie for the other guy, which uh, pre- uh, prevents illegal straw purchases by training retailers on how to spot these things, Operation Secure Store, you know, keeping – uh, burglars from from robbing guns from gun shops. Our suicide prevention program, uh, something I'm, I'm personally very proud of and very very heavily invested in. Um, we have great relationships with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, as well as the Veterans Administration, in trying to educate folks on secure storage options, lethal means safety, things of that nature. But they never ever talk about these things because I guess it would maybe show us in a in a more positive light than they're used to. Well. Um, yes. But we're very serious about this, and we are not slowing down. I'm amazed. 25 years for Project Child Safe. I think I may have been at the very first one of those. It was either in New Orleans or Baton Rouge. I'm trying to remember. But I remember going down yeah. there. It was rain- yeah. raining. I mean, it was 25 years ago. Wow, that's amazing. Yes, it is. It's a great program. We just had a great, very successful launch in Galveston, Texas, about two weeks ago. 
um, and we're doing these around the country throughout the year. It's, it's just a great thing. And again, it doesn't get uh, a lot of the mainstream hit piece type no. attention, uh, but the local media and the, the mayors, chiefs of police, they come out and they support this program and they help us by, by distributing gun locks, no questions asked, uh, and safety kits to anyone that wants them. And if anybody's listening and they're thinking, I'd like to have that in my area, in my town, then if they contact NSSF and we can work with the uh, police departments there and usually the mayors, you can probably get that put in. Absolutely. We've got about 15,000 law enforcement partners currently, uh, but also we also have some community organizations like some churches and things like that uh, throughout the country. But really, hmm. contact us. If there's not a child safe um, partner in your area, we'd be happy to stand one up and, uh, and get this thing going in your, in your, in your area. Yeah. Joe, I've got to ask you, I saw the story just came out this week. We have, uh, what we have for four straight years, 48 months, Americans have purchased a million or more firearms every single month. That's for Absolutely. figures supplied by NSSF. Talk about that. Yep. Yeah, that's the, uh, we, we, we monitor the NICS as a national instant criminal check system, the number of checks, which are not exclusively, but almost almost predominantly uh, gun, re reflecting gun sales for those states that don't have point of contact. That is, anyone going through the retail uh, that has a uh, NICS component to it, which would be mm -hmm. most states, frankly, uh, we track that number. And that tells you that 48 months in a row, more than a million background checks. That is an incredible thing. Um, and it doesn't even include states like Connecticut, which are point of contact states, so those aren't even included in there. So those numbers are even higher in terms of gun sales uh, than even the NICS uh, information indicates. So, yeah, it, it, look, it shows that people are serious about their Second Amendment rights. Uh, in the last three years alone, there have been about, I don't know, 15 or 16 million first-time gun buyers. Um, so there's something going on that people have re uh, kind of rediscovered the Second Amendment, rediscovered uh, not only recreational shooting and hunting, but also this, the issue of self-defense. I mean, seeing what's going on out there, um, it, you know, people are nervous. And, yep. and so they want to they learn. They want to get trained. Training classes are filling up all over the country. We're seeing this and getting reports from our friends around the country that training classes are packed. People are, are, want to get educated. They want to get trained. Um, our First Shots program, we doubled up on this for this year, and uh, we're filling up classes right and left. So it's something that we're – very actively involved in, and uh, we're very, very pleased and proud to see this. Uh, one last thing. I want to talk about uh, August is National Shooting Sports Month. What is that? Yeah, this is a, this is a month-long event, but we get to celebrate and promote recreational shooting and hunting. Um, it's really a fun event. It gets, it gets community partners around the country, ranges and retailers, to host events, um, there's a lot of social media activity. If you go to hashtag Let's Go Shooting or hashtag Range Challenge, there's all sorts of, all sorts of games that you can you like targets you can print, shoot, and then post. Uh, but really, it's a way to educate, to expand, to promote uh, the fun, recreational, and safe aspects of the shooting sports. It's again, it's fun, but also these it combines elements of safety training. Secure storage, safe handling, is all of these things rolled up into one big celebration to get people educated on hunting and the shooting sports. And Joe, I, I got to at least mention a lot of the things NSSF does. Is I mean, you do the big thing. You got the shot show, and you work with retailers. If you're a, a store, if you're a gun dealer, you need to be a member. But you've got things like uh, where to shoot dot org, where to hunt dot yeah. org, resources yeah. for people who are saying, you know, I want to get into this, but I just I have no idea where to start. You just go to where to shoot dot org and you can find shooting ranges, you can find instructors, you can find places you can go that will people will hold your hand and get you started in this process. Yeah, I, I would encourage people to go to that website. We literally just updated that uh, about two months ago. So it's got a lot of really cool features and you can filter it based upon the type of shooting you're interested in. So you can filter not only distance from where you live, but also you want indoor shooting, outdoor shooting, long-distance shooting, trap, skeet. Uh, does it have a retail store? I mean, all of these filters can be applied. So you can narrow down the best place for you uh, individually to go out and, you know, and, and get involved in the shooting sport. So it's a great resource 
Uh, we're very, very proud of it. And again, we spent you know a good bit of time and, and energy uh, revamping it for this year, and uh, we're, we're very, very proud of it. Well, terrific. I would encourage anybody to go to nssf.org for National Shooting Sports Foundation. If you are in the business, you need to be a member because this is the group that's supporting you. And honestly, Joe, you do so much for individual gun owners and shooters and hunters that they don't even understand, but you do that as part of the outreach from the industry. NSSF is a a world-class organization, and now you're being recognized because you're now the boogeyman. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, we are. I guess it's a badge of honor. Uh, but as I go. said, you know, we're, we're, we're proud of the fact that they, I guess we're, be, we're effective if they're actually turning their sights on us. But again, we are, you know, to, to, to say that we are zealously and single-mindedly working for the industry, yeah, you know what? Absolutely. 24-7, 365. We're very proud of that fact, and we're not going to stop. There you go. Joe Bartosi, he's the uh, president and the CEO of NSSF. Joe, thank you so much. 